Hello? At everyone. Hello? Hello? Yo! Welcome, Pearly. Testing. One, two, three. Reading you loud and clear. Testing, testing. Okay, let's do this. You're just showing up with your full name here, Cap. Hello. Hi, Captain Cuttlefish. Can you see the chat room okay on your cell phone? I can see it just fine! Thanks for asking! But all my letters are big for some reason. Seems like someone got their caps lock on, Cap. You should be able to switch it off with the button on the lower left. By the way, I was able to hack into the CQ80 so that Agent A can see our chat logs as well. Test! I am Cuttlefish. We'll send you a dump of our latest chat logs once you've beaten a few challenges, so keep an eye out. Yo, Cap, how did you even type like that? You gotta show me. Yo, I'ma go cops and snacks. Okay, gotcha. Roger Dodger. Oh, right. While Agent 8 is passing tests, I've been using the CQ80's coordinates to gather some data about this place. This place must be deep beneath the surface. It also seems to be under the influence of a magnetic force so powerful that it shouldn't even be physically possible. It appears as though time runs slower there. Or rather, the space seems to be distorted. Captain, have you observed anything unusual in your surroundings there? I'm cool. Hmm, is that supposed to be a password or something? Right, I'm bad. Sorry, I'm not sure I understand you right. But that definitely doesn't sound good. Um, okay. Well, I do understand you seem to be in trouble. Anyway, it's almost like your location is in a different dimension than Encopolis. As long as Agent A keeps passing tests, we should be able to figure out what's going on. We'll support you as much as we can, Agent 8. Keep it up. I'm gonna go get some juice. Roger. You're making some good progress with those tests, Agent 8. But unfortunately, I couldn't discover anything new in the meantime, so... I guess we're kind of stuck in the mud. Well, now that we're here, maybe we could post some pics of ourselves. Like, as an introduction. Here, I'll go first. Oh, wait! Wrong pick! Who's that? It's an old picture of Pearl. She's just so cool. I'm sorry. My introduction will have to wait a little. I'm back. Welcome back. Marina, you here? I have no clue. Clue? <sighs> you mean the toilet? And why is there a pic of me posted in here? Isn't this against the law or something? Some data breach invasion of privacy thing? Oh, we're just doing intros. Got it. Okay, guess now it's my turn to post a pic of Marina then. Boom! This is when we first met. Man, how young we were. Here's a bonus one. Just cuz. <laughs> like, hey, flick your sleepy head up. Uh, Pearly? Oh, my battery's almost dead. I'm gonna get the charger real quick. Word. Man, there's nothing to do when it's just me and you here, Cap. What do you mean? Ah, uh, I'm bored. So bored, in fact. I'm gonna do a little research on you. See what kind of dirt I can dig up. Uh, how embarrassing. Wait, what? The heck is this? The squid?
Olympic platoon, led by 2nd Lieutenant Cuttlefish, visited grievous losses upon the forces of the enemy during the bitter siege of Arowana Castle. That takes me back. Hey, Cap. Guess you're the real deal. Yo, what's taking Marina so long? That reminds me. We can check in on 8 using our video link. But you can't see us, right, Cap? That's correct. In that case, just between you and me, Rhea's kind of a weirdo. She's like freakishly tall and knows way too much about machines and stuff. Just the other day, she built an entire battle stage all by herself. It had huge floating rocks and everything. Crazy, right? Making rocks float. That's Octarian tech. Octarian? What do you mean? You know, the Octarians. You mean those guys who lost the Great Turf War a hundred years ago? And live somewhere super far away now? We learned about them in school, but like... Hold up. You meaning the same arena's an Octarian? Wait, I'll take a look in my top secret Octarian dossier. Marina Ida, Gen 83, Octoling Combat Engineer, Whereabouts Unknown, Classified, Age 6, Enrolled in the Elementary Training Program at Slimeskin Garrison, Age 9, Skipped Multiple Grades, Took Only Advanced Courses, Graduated, Age 10, Member of Flutter Design Team, Fully Automated Cleaning Weapon, Age 13, Joined Slimeskin Garrison, Specialize in improving great octa weapons. Age 16. Assigned to DJ Octavio's Wasabi Supply Unit. Earned multiple commendations. Same year. Went AWOL after coming within audible range of the Calamari Incantation, sung by the new Squidbeaks platoon. According to witness interviews, she said, This changes everything. Before vanishing. Marina Ada. Member of Flutter Design Team? Those Flutters are ruthless splatting machines. They did an Agent 3 more times than I can count. What? Nah, you're joking, right? Octarians make my ink boil. I also remember they taught us that Octarians are really hardworking and intelligent. And Marina is definitely the hardest working and smartest person I know. Those are our carrying characteristics. Yes. The battle stages she makes involve traps and stuff where you float, and you don't see things like that anywhere else. That's Octarian technology. One billion percent. Huh. Turns out Marina is an Octarian. But hey, he also wrote about how the groove of Inklings touched her soul after hearing the Calamari incantation. That song has powers no one can explain. No fan of that song could be a foe of mine. Right? She might have some skeletons in her closet, but who doesn't? Am I right? This has nothing to do with who Marina is today. Thank you for this information. Okay. Don't you dare even think about attacking Marina if you come across her. You got that? Understood. Good. Keep your head in the game, mate. I'm back! Yo, welcome back! Where you been, though? Sorry, I dozed off at home for a bit. Welcome back, young lady! Uh... Sorry, Squid's out of the bag. He brought out his top secret Octarian file and everything! That's on me, Marina. I never meant to dig into your past. Am I? The old dude here used to fight against the Octarians. No fan of the incantation would be a foe of mine. See? He's totally cool with it. Hmm. No fan of the incantation could be a foe of mine. Am I? I mean... I always thought you were an inkling anyway. So what gives if now it turns out you're an Octarian, right? Does that mean... Does that mean I'll even be welcome in Inkopolis anymore? 
What kind of lame question is this? Of course you will. Thanks so much, Pearly. <laughs> Come on, don't start crying on me now. Agent 8 is also an Octarian, but also appreciates the incantation. I was thinking how you two kind of look alike, Marina. I could tell right away that Agent 8's soul had also been touched by the Calamari incantation. We just want to be able to live together with you inklings on the surface. That's all. Which is why we all need to work together even harder. Alright, we'll do anything to help you get out of there, Agent 8. So just continue with those tests for now. <sighs> You don't need to type out how you're blowing your nose. I'll be back! You've got your caps lock key on again, old man. I'll be back. You found it, Cap! What's going on, Pearl? Just trying to teach an old squid new tricks. Cap here is typing in all caps again. That makes sense. You've got a knack for teaching. Huh, you think so? How do I make music notes? Just click the smiley face to bring up the emoji panel. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> Remember when we first met, Pearl? I had just come to the surface, and I didn't understand the Inkling language at all. But you taught me everything I needed to know. <laughs> Whoa, yeah! You were speaking some really broken Inkling when we first met on Mount Nantai. Hmm. Yeah, I went to Mount Nantai every day for two weeks, just hoping you would show up again. I remember! We were just doing some voice rehearsals to warm up, and then out of nowhere you were all like, let's start a band! I thought you were a stalker, lol. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if I hadn't met you back then, I wouldn't be here with you today, Pearly. Oh! And once, you even showed me a song you made all by yourself. Actually, I think I still have the file on my desktop. One sec. Boom. <laughs> yes, I haven't heard this in forever. It's the demo version of Evan Flow. How do I make question marks? Oh. We completely forgot about Cap, lol. The question mark should be in the bottom right of your keyboard. Try it out. Whoa, Marina, I just remembered you made that entire demo using that half-busted keyboard you had. But even then, I knew the hook was still dope. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much for letting me use that enormous recording studio in your house back then. Mm hmm? We're saying we could tell the hook was bumping. Try to keep up, Cap. I think maybe he's just testing out his question marks. Oh, I see. I was shocked the first time I heard you rap. Your offbeat rhymes, the way you work with triplets, it's incredible. I know what you're talking about. I'm just doing what feels right, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. No idea what she's talking about. I think he's still practicing. My name is Cuddlefish, but I don't cuddle with fish. My only wish is for a delicious dish. Maybe stick that one back in the oven, Cap. Hey! Yo! Hello there! Are you guys working on some lyrics? Yeah, that's right. Captain started rapping as a hobby recently, but he's not exactly coming correct with these rhymes yet. No fan of hip-hop could be a foe of mine. Let me upload some verses Pearl made ages ago, as an example. Who needs friends on this dark cold night? Not this rhyming soldier, I'm a stark cold knight. On a higher level up here, can you feel me? This Pearl's one of a kind, but my fam knows the real me. Oh, this is on fire. You are a sickly rapper, Pearl. Thanks. This is back when I was first coming up. Before Marina and I met. <laughs> I just remembered the one that only sold like a thousand copies. Digital and physical. Found it. 
I always like this one. What's it called again? Dudes be sleeping. Lol, that's right. They had to censor quite a bit so the stations could play it. But right after that, we formed off the hook and recorded Ebb and Flow. That song sold like crabby cakes. Off oh, what hook now? Didn't I tell you that already? Jeez, old man. It's the name of the group me and Marina are in. Is it fresh? Is it fresh? Come on, my dude. We're the freshest in the world. But for real, though, the reviews of our first show had me worried for a minute there. Yeah, they described me as a tall girl standing next to Pearl. <laughs> yeah, after that first show, my old fans were all like, no way that's the same girl who wrote freaking dudes be freaking sleeping. When was it again we got that Inkopolis news gig? That must have been around the fourth single. Right. It was around the time when the Squid Sisters decided to quit the news as well. Squid Sisters? Yeah, Cap. Found it out while I was doing my research on you. These are your grandkids. Look at this. Uh oh, thank you very much. Don't tell me you can't remember your own grandkids. I'm sure they're keeping busy. I mean, their solo careers got so big, they outgrew Angopolis News. Yo, we've got to up our networking game for real. We can't do Angopolis News forever. You're right. And once you learn how to ride without training wheels, that offer from Humpback Pump Track to shoot a commercial is a done deal. Alright. Tell you what, after this is done, we'll go practice all day long. Just somewhere no one sees me, please. Hey! What's up? Welcome back! So, I went back to Inkopolis Square to buy some juice and, like, there's a bunch of Octolings just hanging out! The Octarians are upon us! I'm so happy! It's all the Octolings whose souls were touched by the Calamari Incantation as well! No fan of the Incantation could be a foe of mine! In that case, we're all friends. I'm sure the Octolings will pick up the ins and outs of Inkling culture in no time. And hopefully add some of their own flavor, too. Yes! I can't wait to hear more Octarian music bumping through the city. If they'll be part of our culture, you think they'll want in on Turf War as well? Of course! Nice! Will this mark the beginning of the next great Turf War? No, Cap, it ain't like that. Kids from our generation treat turf war battles like a sport, you know, for fun. Is that so? And it sounds like some of them are already working for Grisco. Dang, makes sense though. The enemy of my enemy and all that. We're not enemies though. You reading all this eight? The sooner you get out of there, the sooner we can turf war it up together. I'm still zonked from pulling an all-nighter for the Splatfest. In a nap. Bye. Sorry. Me too. As you wish. I'll be AFK then. See ya! Huh? Hello? Agent Do! Wait, Gramps? Whoa, Gramps, calm down. What's the deal with this chat room? This isn't like a dating site, is it? Well, doesn't matter. How's Agent 3? Where are you at today? We're both fine. I'm so glad you're okay. I haven't heard from you in a while. Any idea when you'll be back from the patrol? Not sure. Should I put dinner together? Already ate. Come on. No, you didn't. Work's really busy right now, so if you don't come home soon... Seaweed stew. That sounds good. Seaweed stew it is. I'll have it ready for you, okay? 
All right. I'll be at Cuttlefish Cabin whenever you decide to come back. Take care of yourself, Gramps, and stay fresh. Well, that was fun. While Agent 8 is pausing, while Agent 8 is passing tests, while Agent 8 is passing tests, I've been doing, I've been using this, what is going on? I've been using the CQ80's coordinates to gather some data about this place. Huh? What is this? Looks like a weird sight. How did I even find this in the first place? Wait, I'll take a look in my top secret Octarian dossier. Wait, I'll take a look in my top secret Octarian dossier. I said Dr. A again. Hold on. I, I, I'm old. I'm sorry. I, I keep making my words messed up. Hold on. Give me a second. Wait. I'll take a look in my top secret Octarian Dr. A. Gosh darn it. Every time. A stupid word. Wait. I'll take a look in my top secret Octarian dossier. You see, I said the word right this time. See, I'm, I'm learning. This old squid still got some kick left in him. No fan of the incantation could be a foe of mine. Why was there a car speeding when I'm trying to tell this squid woman that no fan of the incantation could be a foul of mine? <laughs>